Prince Harry faces a tough moment as King Charles appoints Princess Beatrice to a significant royal role, potentially severing ties with Harry. Is this the end of his connection with the royal family? The monarchy has always generated intrigue and drama, but lately, it has been more about fractured relationships and scandals. This recent development could signify a breaking point between Harry and his father. Charles's decision to elevate Beatrice highlights the existing tension in their relationship, suggesting that their bond may be on shaky ground. Let's delve into this unfolding drama and the power dynamics at play. Why Beatrice? For much of her life, Princess Beatrice has lived in the shadows of her more prominent cousins, Harry and William. However, King Charles's decision to grant her a significant role has raised eyebrows and is perceived as a slight against Harry, who has distanced himself from royal duties since stepping down. This move sends a strong message. The royal family is progressing and thriving without him. Harry's departure and subsequent actions have brought about a notable shift in his family's dynamics. Following his and Meghan's revealing interview with Oprah, Harry appeared to rebel against royal expectations, fundamentally altering his relationship with his family. While opinions vary on whether he had the right to leave, the repercussions have been extensive, leading to public feuds and controversial documentaries. With Beatrice now in a prominent position, it seems the family is ready to embrace a new favorite. As Beatrice rises, Harry's position diminishes, which raises questions about the possibility of reconciliation. Has Harry irrevocably burned his bridges with the royal family, or was this outcome inevitable? Beatrice's ascent is unexpected, especially given her previous role as a less prominent figure. King Charles may view her as a stabilizing force within the family, emphasizing that loyalty to the crown is valued and rewarded. But what about Harry? While he may appear composed, insiders suggest that he is genuinely hurt. Watching another assume duties he once held is undoubtedly a painful reminder that the royal family is moving on without him. Beatrice's promotion could signify the end of an era for Harry, who was once a central figure in royal affairs. However, could this shake-up actually serve as a catalyst for Harry to embrace his new life outside the monarchy? It might offer him the closure he needs to fully step into his new identity. Looking ahead, where does this leave Harry and his family? Many believe the rift between Harry and the royals is deepening, with little hope for reconciliation. Yet, as we've seen in this family's history, nothing is ever certain. Speculation surrounds potential future family gatherings. Will these occasions foster healing or merely emphasize the divisions that have developed over time? Perhaps Beatrice's rise could create an unexpected opportunity for Harry to reconnect with his family. As we witness this royal drama unfold, it's evident that the story of Harry and the royal family is far from finished. More headlines, public appearances, and surprising developments are on the horizon. For Harry, the pressing question remains, will he find peace in his new life, or will his royal roots continue to haunt him? Beatrice's new role signals a fresh chapter not only for her, but for the monarchy as well. Where do you stand in this royal saga? Are you on Team Harry, advocating for his right to live life on his own terms, or do you align with King Charles and the traditionalists who prioritize loyalty to the crown? One thing is certain, we will all be watching closely to see what unfolds next. So what are your thoughts? Will Harry ever mend his relationship with the royal family, or has King Charles's decision to elevate Beatrice sealed the fate of their bond? Join the conversation in the comments below and share your opinions with fellow royal watchers. To fully grasp the significance of this moment, we must examine the evolution of King Charles and Prince Harry's relationship. Once characterized by closeness, their bond has deteriorated significantly, particularly after Harry and Meghan's departure from royal responsibilities, a move commonly referred to as Megxit. Since then, Harry's actions have been viewed through a rebellious lens, while King Charles has been seen as striving to uphold traditional royal values. By promoting Princess Beatrice, Charles seems to reinforce the divide, opting for tradition over reconciliation. For Harry, this may feel like a personal rejection, suggesting that he is no longer a priority within the royal fold. However, there's a possibility that Charles's decision is a form of tough love, allowing Harry the freedom he sought upon leaving. As the media sensationalizes every twist in this drama, it's important to consider how much is genuine and how much is exaggerated for headlines. Beatrice's new role might appear to undermine Harry, but it could also be a natural progression within the family, complicating the potential for healing. The media's focus on drama only intensifies the scrutiny on both Harry and the royals, making it harder for them to resolve their differences privately. It's fascinating to observe how two royals from the same family have taken such different paths. While Harry has embraced his global celebrity status, 
advocating for mental health and embarking on new ventures, Beatrice has chosen to remain loyal to the crown. Her newfound responsibilities highlight her commitment to the monarchy, contrasting sharply with Harry's choices. At the heart of this narrative lies the future of the monarchy itself. King Charles's decision to promote Beatrice over Harry is a power play that could shape the royal family for years to come. Charles values tradition and history, and by choosing Beatrice, he is making a statement about the monarchy's future, one that prizes loyalty, duty, and service. For Harry, this situation might feel like a rejection of his desire to modernize the monarchy and make it more inclusive. His departure was motivated by a pursuit of personal freedom and a desire to challenge the institution. The question remains, is Charles's decision a step forward for the monarchy or a missed opportunity for a fresh perspective? This latest chapter in the saga of Harry versus the monarchy captivates royal fans and critics alike. Some view Harry as a hero fighting for his happiness, while others label him a traitor for abandoning his royal roots. Meanwhile, Beatrice emerges as the good royal, earning praise for her loyalty and adherence to tradition. The unfolding drama invites us to reflect on the complexities of family, duty, and the paths chosen by individuals within an institution as storied as the British monarchy.